It's more important than ever to have fast, reliable internet. Upgrade your internet and switch to iFiber Communications. Plus, iFiber just got even faster, offering 250 megabytes per second speeds for only $59.95. These beavers are swimming comfortably now in the decommissioned pools of the Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. But just a few days ago, they were gnawing on Ken Sinclair's willow trees on the Columbia River, south of Rock Island. No, we used to spend all our time under this tree. It had a huge, big canopy. Not so much anymore. Beavers have girdled the tree and several others on Sinclair's Riverbank property, even moving into his cherry orchard. So Ken called Cody Gillen, program manager with Trout Unlimited's Wenatchee Entiat Beaver Project. We take a nuisance beaver and relocate it to a suitable location much higher in the watershed. One of our biggest project partners, landowner partners, is the Forest Service. But we have other public and private landowners as well that have supported us in our relocation efforts. The beaver project is in its second year and has so far taken 20 nuisance beavers from private shoreline property and moved them to wilder habitat up the Wenatchee River watershed. At Sinclair's property, field crew lead Tessa Smith and field intern Serena Nozawa set three non-lethal traps just past the waterline, then bait them with branches and beaver gland scent. The next morning, they've got two sub-adult beavers, a male and female, waiting patiently for their next stop. That's a concrete raceway at the hatchery, where project workers have set up temporary beaver habitat. The transfer usually goes easy, unless an animal decides to prematurely nudge her cage door open. Beavers run in family groups, so it takes multiple trappings to clear out a shoreline where they're active. Once all are gathered, there's an acclimation period at the hatchery, followed by a move to a new upriver home, farther away from conflicts with humans. Once there, the hope is they'll carry on with the kind of brush clearing and dam building that helps maintain stable populations of wild fish. In a dry desert environment, beavers are creating little pockets of extremely biodiverse wetland habitat in an otherwise really dry environment. And that is essential for many, many plants and animals that live around here. And Trout Unlimited got involved in this project, mostly targeting, of course, those sensitive salmonids, salmon and trout that are listed under the Endangered Species Act. The Wenatchee Antiat Beaver Project is overseen through Trout Unlimited's Wenatchee office, with aid from a dozen partner agencies. Nuisance encounters with beavers are usually more common in spring, but if your property is being affected, call the program at 888-0970. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News. <laughs>